Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is uh, my privilege to welcome you all here today as we celebrate the announcement of the expansion of Michigan State University College of Human Medicine's Early Assurance Program Articulation Agreement with Grand Rapids Community College. And as we begin the program, I would like to ask that all of the faculty and staff from Grand Rapids Community College and Michigan State University that are in the room, please give a, a wave as we can welcome you and thank you for attending. I know many of you played a very instrumental role in expanding this agreement. So thanks to all of you who are out here. We are glad to have you here as we celebrate this partnership. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Joel Maurer, Assistant Dean of Admissions for the Michigan State University College of Human Medicine. Dr. Maurer. Thank you, Dr. Knedl. Um, seven years ago, uh, we announced our Early Assurance Program Agreement for Grand Rapids Community College with uh, students transferring to Grand Valley State University, offering them an enhanced opportunity to attend medical school at MSU's College of Human Medicine. Today we announce the expansion of our Early Assurance Program and Articulation Agreement with Grand Rapids Community College. Uh, in addition to Grand Valley, this program will now be available to pre-medical students who transfer to Michigan State University. Candidates for the Early Assurance Program will compete, uh, excuse me, will complete a program of enriched clinical and human service experiences as well as receive academic advising directed towards admission to MSU's College of Human Medicine. Students uh, who fit the mission of the Early Assurance Program typically are uh, or come from first generation college uh, students, uh, graduates of an underserved high school as defined by the U.S. Department of Education, eligible for or recipients of uh, undergraduate Pell or other institutional need-based grants and or express and support interests in high-need medical specialties or practice in medically underserved communities. Once they fit the admissions criteria uh, for the college, they then may apply to the College of Human Medicine earlier than the regular applicant pool. Why is this program so important for Grand Rapids Community College pre-med students? Well, these students begin an early relationship with MSU's College of Human Medicine and get a more proactive head start on preparing for the medical school admissions process. This is key for them when they transfer to MSU. They'll already be aware of the program, uh, receive a more personalized transition, uh, to the pre-med community at MSU and won't miss the opportunity to apply to the Early Assurance Program as they begin their junior year of college. Thank you, Dr. Maurer. Mm -hmm. Now, as always, my pleasure to introduce the Grand Rapids Community <coughs> College President, Dr. Bill Pink. Thank you, Dr. Canettle. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's good to hear you out there. What a great day it is uh, to be a GRCC Raider. Also a great day uh, in my mind as well to be a, a Michigan State University Spartan here in Grand Rapids. Um, and the reason I say that is because one of the huge advantages of Grand Rapids Community College is that so many of our students come to GRCC and are local. They are here in Grand Rapids and they graduate from us whether they go uh, to Grand Valley, whether they stay around the area uh, for Ferris State or whether they go to East Lansing or to Ann Arbor. Many of our students or wherever that four-year partner is, many of our students come back and stay in this community. That's what I love about this partnership is because it starts down that road of, of even ensuring to a greater extent that our students who want to go down this medical path and go through GRCC to Michigan State University, that indeed we want them to be uh, Grand Rapidians on the other side of this as well. Uh, the thing I love about this whole conversation, I shared this, uh, Dr. Beauchamp, when we, uh, when we saw each other this morning, we were both talking about this, is on front of our, both of our minds today, because this conversation was, uh, uh, it began several months ago when uh, I went over to uh, just a few blocks away from here uh, to uh, Dr. Beauchamp's office, met with he and Dr. Coyman, sat down after touring uh, some facilities, sat down and said, what do we need to be doing? 
What do we need to do together? I mean, one of the uh, points, aside from having two really great institutions, is that we're so close together. So proximity also says, what do we do together? And so the more we talked about it, the more we actually started talking about this very thing. We started talking about pathways. Started talking about the pathway from GRCC to MSU's College of Human Medicine and what can that pathway look like that would end with GRCC and then start with MSU and then finish with MSU. And so when you have that kind of a conversation, when you sit down and say, oh man, that would be a great idea, that you see ideas come to fruition. That is the power of today. That something that began as a conversation of a what if is actually now a reality. And so as we now sit down and celebrate today uh, this signing of this agreement, I think it's uh, such a great example to all of us in terms of how institutions, how two organizations can sit down and say, what, is, what, is, what are the things we need to do together that will impact our students? Because that's who it's all about. We love, our, we love our campuses. We love to think that we're doing a great job. It's all about you. It's about our students. How can we make pathways for our students to be successful and for us to have a conversation that then comes into reality is indeed a great day for Grand Rapids Community College and I would also say for Michigan State University. So I thank Dr. Beauchamp and his leadership. Uh, without his leadership and the leadership of Dr. Coyman and others, you know, this, this day doesn't happen. And so I am appreciative to them and not only do I thank them and congratulate them, but then my question is always, what's next? So thank you very much for this partnership. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Dr. Payne. I'd like to now introduce Dr. Norman Beauchamp, Dean of the Michigan State University College of Human Medicine, and soon to be Executive Vice President for Health Sciences at Michigan State University. Mm -hmm. Dr. Beauchamp, and congratulations. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Provost Knettel. It's uh, my privilege to be here today as we formalize this agreement between Grand Rapids Community College and Michigan State University College of Human Medicine. For they who have health have hope, and for they who have hope have everything. For too many people, in our community, in our state, and in our nation, they don't have access to hope, to health, or to healing. And we believe that's so critical to being able to understand the challenges people feel and the manner in which they must be overcome happens when you bring students who come from backgrounds that are diverse, that can see the challenges and the ways that they need to be addressed and can also help their fellow students understand those challenges. And for us, that's such a huge part of our mission. And I, I've had the privilege of working with President Pink, and I do remember that day. You came into the office and you really challenged us and said, how can we create the opportunities for our students and, and even enhance them? And so we met, we talked about one pathway was from Grand Rapids Community College to Grand Valley to the medical school. And this extends that, where it's now Grand Rapids Community College directly to Michigan State and then to the College of Human Medicine. And so again, enhancing the pathway. Now we know uh, that the journey to medical school uh, is a long one. Uh, the sooner we can engage our students and inspire them, the better. And this pathway does that wonderfully. We had 8,000 uh, applications to our medical school last year. We selected 190 students. Very competitive. Our amazing students here are two examples. And the Early Assurance Program makes up about 20 of that 190. So it is a very significant part of our program. And so it's, it's so important to, to our mission. I wanna thank our colleagues uh, from higher education here at Grand Rapids Community College. I wanna thank uh, Mark Brevy, uh, who has really uh, driven this from the moment it was mentioned, as well as our amazing admissions team, and I see uh, Liz here with us today, and that is a gift. 
I can't stress enough the joy of working with your president, Bill Pink. He is absolutely remarkable, inspirational, uh, and he sets the bar high for the other leaders in the community. And so it, it is a privilege. And we're so delighted to welcome Provost Canedal to this community, and we really look forward to working with you. I'm delighted now uh, to introduce two amazing graduates of Grand Rapids Community College who we are proud to count as students. The first is Christina Haybauer, the second is Crystal Juarez, and they are here to share some comments uh, with all of you today. Hi, I'm Christina. So the ironic part about this is when I came to GRCC, I was planning to transfer to MSU. <laughs> and uh, I happened to come across a flyer near an elevator one day that said, if you want to know more about getting into medical school, come to this meeting. And to put that in perspective for you at the time, I didn't even know what the MCAT was. So I went to that meeting, and it completely changed my life. I went home and recalculated, redesigned my entire plan to transfer to GVSU to try and get into the early assurance program. And thank God it all worked out. Um, I'm really happy to be here today. Um, and this will open more doors for more students, like they were saying, another path. Thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. I'm Crystal Juarez, and um, I also was not, like, I've always loved medicine, but I never thought it was a possibility until one day my anatomy professor here at GRCC told me about the Early Assurance Program. And then after that, um, it created a direct pathway, and um, like Christina was saying, thankfully it all worked out, and it's just great to be here in the community that I grew up in, and um, this program is great. It's gonna open more doors for other students who um, also might be first-generation college students who never even really like dreamed of medical school and now it's gonna create that opportunity for them. So I'm very grateful for this program. That's awesome. Thank you, Crystal and Christina. And to my right, though they're not, no comments prepared, <laughs> I do want to introduce two of our GRCC students who are hoping and will, are planning to take advantage of this pathway. If we could give them a round of applause. Thank you, and now we are on to signing the agreements that will um, formalize this pathway and this partnership between Grand Rapids Community College and Michigan State University. Now the photo op. <laughs> 